Hello, it's Christy Hale again with another tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to work Jing. Jing is a free download. When you want to download it, you just Google Jing. Um, it's a TechSmith product. Uh, it's used for screen captures on your computer screen. You can record screencasts for up to five minutes. And it also works with Snagit and Camtasia if you are familiar with those. So to download, click here and it will download to your screen. Minimize this for a second. Once you download it, you end up with the little sunshine guy here. Uh, hangs out on the side wherever you put them. You can move them wherever you want to. In order to screen capture something, you would click this button. Uh, your history, the items that you have captured are located here. And you can uh, do more settings where you would like your files saved, um, where you would like to upload them to can be set up in uh, this little sunray, I suppose. So we'll screen capture something. So I'm going to pop up a website. So say I really like this picture um, from uh, the web, the internet and I want to use it on something. Make sure it's not copyrighted um, so make sure you don't um, violate those terms but in order to screen capture the shot you click capture and then you can highlight the area and get it how you want it and then the little drop box will come down right here and you say capture image. Move this up make sure you can see it. You can name it so we can call it the world and then save it and it will be saved to your history and now when I go to my history this image is there um, when you open it uh, you can copy it uh, to wherever you would like to and those are things that you would set up in your uh, settings. Uh, say I want to annotate a picture so uh, we're teaching the class how to tie ties this week so if I want to use this picture for the demonstration I can capture the picture just like we did before and this is what I want so I'm going to capture that image and I'll pull this to the middle if I want to highlight something, so I can put a little arrow there, and if I want to explain it, I can click on the text button, and we can put cross over and go under. And if I want to highlight that area, I can use this little uh, uh, box. If I want to uh, make it a color I can do that as well I'll take this off and if ever you put something there that you don't want you can just go back and it will delete it so if I want to highlight the area I would just highlight here if I want to change the color that's a little dark I can make it yellow or I can make it blue and then once I am done I can save it uh, it's how to tie a tie and save and then this is uh, captured in my history so if I want to come back to it I can open it up here I can re save it if I I have these copied to my desktop so my icon is here um, it ends up right here put this up here so you can see it ends up as a desktop icon when I'm done with because I tend to lose things so I copy them to the desktop when I'm done I can just delete them or save them to a picture file or drop them into a folder picture file or picture folder file um, if you have any questions on how to work Jing feel free to email me at cdhill at lit.edu thank you